At tonight's event, retired Army General Don Boldick will be joined by former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. Boldick came up short in the Republican primary in 2020 and says he's been on the campaign trail ever since. So where does the Trump-backed Republican stand on some key issues? During last week's Granite State debate, Boldick said he believes the issue of abortion is now with the states. When asked about his prior false claims that the 2020 election was stolen from former President Trump, he now says he believes the election was not stolen. During a previous debate, he blamed incumbent Democrat Senator Maggie Hassan for the high prices of oil, gas and food. We caught up with Boldick yesterday at his 81st town hall in Nashua. He says holding events like this across the Granite State are key to resonate with voters. Granite Staters want to know, they want to know that you're going to serve them in accessibility and standing there and taking the hard questions from everybody is the way you gain that trust. Boldick is vying to unseat incumbent Democratic Senator Maggie Hassan, who took office in 2017 and previously served as governor of New Hampshire. Throughout her term, Senator Hassan has touted her work with infrastructure and lowering costs. On abortion, she says she believes women should have the right to choose. And in last week's Granite State debate, she called Boldick, quote, the most extreme nominee for U.S. Senate that New Hampshire has seen in modern history. Senator Hassan held a canvas kickoff earlier today in Nashua, joined by U.S. Senator Amy Klobuchar, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg, and others. There's so much on the line, and New Hampshire is a state that thinks for itself and that cares about problem-solving leadership. That's exactly what you have with someone like Maggie Hassan. And again, Boldick's event right here in Salem behind me is scheduled to kick off in about an hour. We'll have more on this and all other campaign events today coming up tonight at 10 and 11. Live in Salem, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.